Hello all. So in this tutorial, I'm coming up with modeling, texturing and lighting a 3D stage in Autodesk 3ds Max. So let's get started. So I have a reference of a stage design over here. Let's go into rendering view image file and let's uh, open the reference of a stage design over here. So this is a, we are going to model this uh, stage in Autodesk 3ds Max. So very first of all what I'll be doing over here is like let's take a plane over here. If you want to go into this you can go into customize unit setup and you can set it to feet or inches. Just click OK. Now for creation of this what we'll be doing is I'll go into the shapes I'll take a line I can do two things over here one is like I'm going to go on the top view now over here and first I'll scale this stuff I'll take a rectangle over here I'll take a rectangle and I'll draw one more rectangle over here and I'll scale it a bit definitely I'll scale this more bigger we'll just push this up and push this a bit back select this and this right click convert to editable spline select this and let's go into this and attach it go into the spline option and you have a option over here in the spline you can use a boolean and just boolean it in this way so now go into the modifier and let's give a extrude modifier and what should be the height you can set it as for example let's set the height as 1 feet or something or you can set it to so you can just set the height accordingly Now what I can do over here is like right click convert to editable poly <coughs> excuse me now I can just shift this over here <coughs> go to the top view now and just select this push it back over here so once they're done what I'll be doing over here is like I'll be going over here I'll take a box over here I'll activate this auto grid option over here and I'll just make a small box over here I'll just push it on top of it I'll just scale this convert to editable poly go into this polygon and let's use a bit of inset and bevel it inside click ok go on to this view over here front view let's take a 
line over here let's take a line over here so you can just close this go into this and just make it straight after that I can again go into this line take a line over here and just click OK so once you're done just push this over here now what I can do over here is like I can just take a one more line over here I'll just drag this down till here and I'll close this same thing we'll be just pushing this up close it so once you're done with this you can just push this behind here and we can give a modifier called extrude and reduce its the stuff so we can just select this and just give a one color to it let's go into this again again let's take a line over here so let's again give a extrude modifier over here and you can just push it till here so let's keep on saving the file so you can just save your file over here so once you are done over here now what I can do over here is like if I want to create this stuff I can easily create it I can make this stuff over here before that we will be first we will make this on the top of it so we can definitely uh, increase its thickness if it is required we can do that over here so let's take a box over here right over here So take a box right over here so after taking a box you can just push this box up over here you can just resize this stuff push it back over here can just push it in this way go into this and let's add some segments
So let's give a lettuce modifier. We have a modifier called lettuce. Let's go into the lettuce modifier. Make this as zero. And you have an option over here called ignore hidden edges. Go into the box and you can just remove this stuff from here like this and just give a color to it. So keep on saving the files. So we'll continue the rest of the part in the next tutorial. So thanks for watching this tutorial.